Mastering Solid Waste Disposal Seasonal changes manipulatively dictate waste generation rates. Why do the volumes of solid waste generated by the community exhibit fluctuations in accordance with seasonal changes, and what factors contribute to these variations in waste generation rates throughout the year? Seasonal fluctuations in solid waste generation rates can be attributed to various factors, which are often influenced by changes in human behavior, consumption patterns, and environmental conditions throughout the year. In many communities, waste generation rates tend to increase during summer months and decrease during winter months, with some exceptions and regional variations. One of the primary factors contributing to seasonal fluctuations in waste generation is changes in household consumption patterns. During summer months, people tend to engage in outdoor activities, host backyard gatherings, and participate in outdoor events, leading to increased consumption of single-use plastics, paper products, and other disposable items. Additionally, summer is a peak tourist season, which can result in a surge in waste generation from tourist-related activities, such as hotel stays, fast food, and souvenir purchases. Another significant factor is the production of organic waste, particularly food waste, which tends to increase during summer and holiday seasons. Holiday gatherings, barbecues, and outdoor picnics generate more food waste, as people tend to prepare and consume more food during these periods. Moreover, summer weather conditions, such as high temperatures and humidity, can accelerate food spoilage, leading to increased food waste generation. Agricultural and horticultural activities also contribute to seasonal fluctuations in waste generation. Harvest seasons, which often occur during autumn, result in increased waste generation from agricultural and horticultural activities, such as fruit and vegetable packing materials, pesticide containers, and other agricultural waste. Similarly, gardening and landscaping activities tend to increase during spring and summer, generating more green waste, including grass clippings, leaves, and branches. Seasonal celebrations and events also play a significant role in waste generation patterns. Holidays like Christmas, Halloween, and Easter generate significant amounts of waste from gift wrapping, packaging, and disposable party supplies. Furthermore, summer festivals, concerts, and sporting events can lead to increased waste generation from food and beverage sales, vendor activities, and event-related waste. Demographic factors, such as student populations, tourist traffic, and seasonal migrations, can also influence waste generation rates. College towns and universities, for example, tend to experience a surge in waste generation during academic semesters, as students generate more waste from food, packaging, and other activities. Similarly, coastal communities and tourist destinations experience increased waste generation during peak tourist seasons. Lastly, weather conditions and natural disasters can impact waste generation patterns. Extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, wildfires, and floods, can result in significant waste generation from debris, construction materials, and relief efforts. Conversely, Droughts and dry weather conditions can lead to reduced waste generation from agricultural and horticultural activities. In conclusion, the volumes of solid waste generated by the community exhibit fluctuations in accordance with seasonal changes due to a combination of factors, including changes in consumption patterns, agricultural and horticultural activities, seasonal celebrations and events, demographic factors, and weather conditions. Understanding these factors is essential for developing effective waste management strategies that can adapt to these fluctuations and minimize the environmental impacts of waste generation.